I'm Joey the Gardener and today I wanted to talk about what to do with your amaryllis once it stops blooming. Now this one here, I only have one more bloom left. I just, I just cut off this stem the other day because all the blooms had finished. Uh, the two that were left on it, they're nearly ready to go. So what I did, I just snipped them off and put them in little vases so I can enjoy them. I could put them in a bathroom or some little corner just for a pop of color. Now, once that happens, um, why you want to snip that off before this one? It's because you want all the energy of that bulb to come up and help this bloom to open. And then once this one's finished, you would cut it off and then that will encourage the bulb to produce more leaves. Now this one here has lots of leaves already. So once these two have bloomed, I'll cut them off and then it'll, the bulb will just keep sending energy and making more leaves. So what I would do is put this by a nice sunny window. I, it's a nice warm area. I would keep, make sure it doesn't dry out, water it. And then by late, su or late spring, when there's no risk of frost, that's when I start thinking, okay, I'm gonna get my pots out. I wanna pot these up. So what I wanna do is put these as a, a thriller in a pot. Cause look how, see how beautiful these are. Can you imagine if there was more of them? This, this can be the thriller in the middle of your pot. So it saves you money. You've already got your thriller. You don't have to go out and get any. Then you get some something to fill it in around, like some flowers or whatever you like to fill in. And then you get a spiller. So something that comes over the side like ivy. And then it's a beautiful pot. You can enjoy it on your patio, around your garden, wherever you like. And then at, at, when there is, when there's, it's your late summer and we start to get cooler, you want to leave them out so they start getting cold and you can start seeing them wilt. And then you want to bring them in. You want to cut the leaves to about an inch above the bulb. And then you're going to take that pot, or if it's in another, if you have a big pot outside, then repot it into a smaller pot. Cut, make sure the leaves are cut off. You put it into a, a dark, cool place. So say you have a, a basement that's dark or a closet down there or something, you just put them in there just leave them there for about eight weeks. You can leave them out longer if you want, but eight weeks is about rule of thumb. Then in eight weeks, I'm gonna bring them back up. I'm gonna water them. I'm gonna put them by a nice warm sunny window and I'm gonna keep my eye on them. And then eventually I'm gonna have amaryllis again. So don't throw them out. You can use them. It's a great filler or thriller for your pot. And, um, and I'll, in the spring, I'll be showing you how to pot them up. I'll show you what I do with mine. So don't throw them out, enjoy them, watch the leaves grow, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.